Money, I'm revving. I'm great. Just protecting my investment. Ask about me. Integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this middleweight match is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, out of the blue corner, making his cage debut, he stands at six feet. His weight is 192 pounds. He trains with Scorpion Fighting System out of Brighton, Michigan. Please make welcome, Miles Bryant! And out of the red corner, his record is one win and zero losses. His height, six foot one inch, and his weight, 186 pounds. He trains with Area 502 MMA and comes to you from Louisville, Kentucky. Please make welcome Christian Floyd. All right, so up until this point, we've seen the small guys. We've seen the 35s, the 45s. We're up to the 85s now. These are the guys that can absolutely end the fight in one punch. These guys always pack lots of power. You can look and see the power that's in the cage right now. He he heavy leather right away. Now Christian told me that he wants to keep this fight standing. He, he, he had his way in the first fight. He was disappointed in himself that he wasn't able to finish his first fight. And he plans to do that on the feet here tonight. Christian looking very good for the little amount of a training he's actually had. Yeah, Christian is a guy that comes in and, and constantly trains twice a day, every day, doesn't mm -hmm. duck the gym. And, of course, that could be the same for Miles Bryant. You know, he looks very well himself. He's calm and composed. Christian's definitely made up for the, the short duration by hard work. Absolutely. Say he was, he's been training for years. Right? Yeah, and, and Miles Bryant says he's been training for about four years, so... Tying combinations yeah. together well here. Christian is. Both guys kind of just filling each other out this first round. Like you talked about earlier, the power that's in the hands of these middleweights is outrageous. So both guys are going to be really cautious. Yeah, and this is Miles Bryant's first MMA fight here, and, and we see an orthodox fighter against a southpaw. Trip a little bit than any, any real damage it seems. Rocky, can you explain to our viewers at home the obstacle of a, a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter? Anytime you fight somebody that's a different handed, being right handed or left handed, they stand different. And that backhand, their power hand, their right hand or left hand, it's kind of hidden from your view. So when they throw that backhand, it catches you off guard all the time. Miles Bryant doing a good job of controlling the center here. Floyd with his cage, his back to the cage. Good head movement from Christian Floyd. He's throwing different looks at Miles Bryant. The deadlift power oh. in the hands of Christian that you talked about. Unreal. Head. The heavy hands of Christian Floyd. Unreal. Definitely excited. Miles Bryant is really out of sorts right now, still. Christian Floyd. Amped up as any fighter would be. Miles Bryant being tended to by the doctors here in front of us. Just now coming to that head's coming up now. Yeah, he Miles is okay. He's going to be all right. He's going to have a headache in a little bit, but he's fine. Heavy, heavy hands of Christian Floyd. There's that deadlift strength coming out through that leather. Beautiful. Here we see Floyd mixing it up with the body kick. He, did, he ate a right hand on yeah. that. He yeah. fought through it. You couldn't even tell. There it oh. is. That left hook. Oh. And three left three hooks in a row. Three left hooks. He ate every one. He was out on the first one. Yeah. Yeah, that's two more. That's unfortunate. That's one of the worst scenarios that, that can happen in MMA. One. 
Two. And he's out. Three. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, Heavy. <laughs> Watch out for the left hook of Christian Floyd. Here we see a better angle of it. And bang. That's the one that landed. He's out right there. Bang. Two. Three. Bang. He was out on yeah, his feet on the that, first one. That's that's very unfortunate, but it, it's just an aspect of MMA that happens sometimes. Definitely. Bryant is gonna, you know, he's he'll okay. Be fine. He's he's good guy. He's a good fighter. He's gonna get some ibuprofen. Yeah. Take a couple of days off, and he'll be right back that's in the right. gym. Absolutely. And Floyd, of course, is all smiles. He has no reason to be anything other than all smiles. And I'm just so proud for Christian. You know, my own personal bias. He's a, he's a great kid. I see him every day. I'm very happy for him. And he was not happy with how his first fight went. You know, he dominated his his amateur debut here in the B2 Fighting Series. Okay. Yeah. And and he was and, but he was not happy with it. He said, "I should have finished it. I wish that I would have finished it." Fantastic, Christian Floyd moving to two and zero oh, as he leaves the cage tonight. Hats off to Miles Bryant. Anyone that has ever fought or trained knows it takes an absolute warrior to even step in that cage. Didn't go his way tonight. He's going to be okay. He'll be back. Yeah, and he's going to fight again. He showed good promise. He's very calm there. He just happened to get clipped. It happens. We're going to go to ring announcer Lance Green to make this fight official. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 17 seconds into the first round, your winner by way of knockout, the Kentucky boy, Christian Floyd! With the same ones that was down from the jump day one Same ones been around when the ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one